The topology of an electronic circuit is the form taken by the network of interconnections of the circuit components. Different specific values or ratings of the components are regarded as being the same topology. Topology is not concerned with the physical layout of components in a circuit, nor with their positions on a circuit diagram. It is only concerned with what connections exist between the components. There may be numerous physical layouts and circuit diagrams that all amount to the same topology. Strictly speaking, replacing a component with one of an entirely different type is still the same topology. In some contexts, however, these can loosely be described as different topologies. For instance, interchanging inductors and capacitors in a low-pass filter results in a high-pass filter. These might be described as high-pass and low-pass topologies even though the network topology is identical. A more correct term for these classes of object is prototype network. Electronic network topology is related to mathematical topology, in particular, for networks which contain only two terminal devices. Circuit topology can be viewed as an application of graph theory. In a network analysis of such a circuit from a topological point of view, the network nodes are the vertices of graph theory and the network branches are the edges of graph theory. Standard graph theory can be extended to deal with active components and multi-terminal devices such as integrated circuits. Graphs can also be used in the analysis of infinite networks. Circuit Diagrams The circuit diagrams in this article follow the usual conventions in electronics. Lines represent conductors. Filled small circles represent junctions of conductors. Open small circles represent terminals for connection to the outside world. In most cases, impedances are represented by rectangles. A practical circuit diagram would use the specific symbols for resistors, inductors, capacitors, etc. But topology is not concerned with the type of component in the network so the symbol for a general impedance has been used instead. The graph theory section of this article gives an alternative method of representing networks. Topology names Many topology names relate to their appearance when drawn diagrammatically. Most circuits can be drawn in a variety of ways and consequently have a variety of names. For instance, the three circuits shown in Figure 1.1 all look different but have identical topologies. This example also demonstrates a common convention of naming topologies after a letter of the alphabet to which they have a resemblance. Greek alphabet letters can also be used in this way, for example pi topology and delta topology, series and parallel topologies. For a network with two branches, there are only two possible topologies, series and parallel. Even for these simplest of topologies, there are variations in the way the circuit can be presented. For a network with three branches there are four possible topologies. Note that the parallel series topology is another representation of the delta topology discussed later. Series and parallel topologies can continue to be constructed with greater and greater numbers of branches ad infinitum. The number of unique topologies that can be obtained from n branches is 2n1. The total number of unique topologies that can be obtained with no more than n branches is 2n1. Y and delta topologies Y and delta are important topologies in linear network analysis due to these being the simplest possible three-terminal networks. A Y delta transform is available for linear circuits. This transform is important because there are some networks that cannot be analyzed in terms of series and parallel combinations. An example of this is the network of figure 1.6, consisting of a Y network connected in parallel with a delta network. Say it is desired to calculate the impedance between two nodes of the network. In many networks this can be done by successive applications of the rules for combination of series or parallel impedances. This is not, however, possible in this case where the Y delta transform is needed in addition to the series and parallel rules. The Y topology is also called star topology. 
However, star topology may also refer to the more general case of many branches connected to the same node rather than just three simple filter topologies. The topologies shown in figure 1.7 are commonly used for filter and attenuator designs. The L section is identical topology to the potential divider topology. The T section is identical topology to the Y topology. The bisection is identical topology to the delta topology. All these topologies can be viewed as a short section of a ladder topology. Longer sections would normally be described as ladder topology. These kinds of circuits are commonly analyzed and characterized in terms of a two-port network. Bridge topology. Bridge topology is an important topology with many uses in both linear and nonlinear applications, including, amongst many others, the bridge rectifier, the Wheatstone bridge and the lattice phase equalizer. There are several ways that bridge topology is rendered in circuit diagrams. The first rendering in figure 1.8 is the traditional depiction of a bridge circuit. The second rendering clearly shows the equivalence between the bridge topology and a topology derived by series and parallel combinations. The third rendering is more commonly known as lattice topology. It is not so obvious that this is topologically equivalent. It can be seen that this is indeed so by visualizing the top left node move to the right of the top right node. It is normal to call a network bridge topology only if it is being used as a two-port network with the input and output ports each consisting of a pair of diagonally opposite nodes. The box topology in figure 1.7 can be seen to be identical to bridge topology but in the case of the filter the input and output ports are each a pair of adjacent nodes. Sometimes the loading component on the output port of the bridge will be included in the bridge topology as shown in figure 1.9. Bridge T and Twin T Topologies Bridge T topology is derived from bridge topology in a way explained in a Zobel network article. There are many derivative topologies also discussed in the same article. There is also a twin T topology which has practical applications where it is desirable to have the input and output share a common terminal. This may be, for instance, because the input and output connections are made with coaxial topology. Connecting together an input and output terminal is not allowable with normal bridge topology and for this reason twin T is used where a bridge would otherwise be used for balance or null measurement applications. The topology is also used in the twin T oscillator as a sine wave generator. The lower part of figure 1.11 shows twin T topology redrawn to emphasize the connection with bridge topology. Infinite topologies. Ladder topology can be extended without limit and is much used in filter designs. There are many variations on ladder topology, some of which are discussed in the electronic filter topology in composite image filter articles. The balanced form of ladder topology can be viewed as being the graph of the side of a prism of arbitrary order. The side of an antiprism forms a topology which, in this sense, is an anti-ladder. Anti-ladder topology finds an application in voltage multiplier circuits, in particular the Cockcroft-Walton generator. There is also a full-wave version of the Cockcroft-Walton generator which uses a double-O anti-ladder topology. Infinite topologies can also be formed by cascading multiple sections of some other simple topology, such as lattice or bridge T sections. Such infinite chains of lattice sections occur in the theoretical analysis and artificial simulation of transmission lines, but are rarely used as a practical circuit implementation. Components with more than two terminals Circuits containing components with three or more terminals greatly increase the number of possible topologies. Conversely, the number of different circuits represented by a topology diminishes and in many cases the circuit is easily recognizable from the topology even when specific components are not identified. With more complex circuits the description may proceed by specification of a transfer function between the ports of the network rather than the topology of the components.